to the podcast, Tim. Thanks, Matt. Good to be here. So, do you want to start off? We'll start off easy-ish. Yeah, what, of course. What is your role? Like, what? What? Oh, okay. Yeah, what do you right. do? So, uh, first of all, I'd like to say I'm a big fan. Oh, I've watched all of the podcasts. Oh, wow. Okay. Even before I knew I was coming to do this. Okay. So, so yeah. Oh, that, wow. I think they're really good. Uh, um, remember, and the variety <laughs> and the variety of people that we've had on. It's, I think it's been really informative. Oh. I've been here 20 years and I've learned things that I didn't know. Um, oh, that's good to and, know. And I've learned about departments that I didn't know existed as well. So it's been, uh, it's, it, they're, they're really oh. educational. I think they're really good. Oh, um, so I'm the product technology manager for Next Home and Beauty. Product technology. Yeah. So what's that compared to a systems or IT I, technology? Te- You're not technology. the same. No, we're not the same. So, <laughs> so technology in uh, product technology. Let's stick to that. Product technology. <laughs> we are all about the product right. that we sell. So we are uh, our our primary role in product technology is to make sure that the product is safe, legal meets next expectations and mm. our customers' expectations from a quality, performance, finish perspective. Wow. Um, so it's a, that's in a very tight nutshell mm. description of what product technology is. The, um, we could talk for the entire podcast about what that involves. <laughs> um, it, it, it covers everything from the initial concept of the product. Mm. We're, we're actually working, product technology are working constantly in the past, present, and future. Right, um, okay. All at the same time. So it, from a past perspective, uh, we are looking at returns pro, from products that we've previously sold, sometimes uh, customer complaints on products that we sold three years ago um, that could be safety complaints uh, that we need to review and take action on. Um, in the present, we're developing new product. Okay. Um, and uh, for the future, so that takes us into the future, um, but we're also managing the stock or the, the, the product that's in manufacture now um, f- or on sale now. Um, so we are analyzing data, we're as I say, developing product to make sure it meets all our requirements. We're working with the factories, uh, the, the designers, the buying team um, constantly to, uh, to make sure that we're doing the right thing. Yeah, so I was going to ask, you sit in, in terms of, because you are product technologists, you sit amongst buyers, designers, yeah, merchandisers. Yeah, you're part, part of, of that team. Yeah, yeah, yeah part yeah, of yeah, the product yeah, yeah. team. Part of the product team. Yeah. And then uh, I guess you're dealing with, where you say, you mentioned there, you, we could go into loads of detail, but I think it's important we go into a bit mm. in terms of you're actually looking, in particular in your role at the moment on home, I guess you're looking at, if it's like a table, the, the quality of wood. and yeah, Absol- yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So if you took um, a table as in, or, or a cushion or something. Yeah, yeah. of course. So um, uh, my, my specific role when you look at home, yeah. uh, my area is... It, the description is a little loose, but it's it's home and beauty, which is actually everything that you would have in your home that isn't furniture. We have a okay. we have a furniture team, a full furniture team, but yep. we have a separate product technology manager. Wow. And what's the reason for that? that? Just because it's so big and so varied. Right. So <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um, furniture. When you think about furniture, it is everything from pot upholstery, tables, chairs, um, cabinet bedroom furniture wardrobes oh, yeah that's a the lot whole thing there's a lot there there's a lot of mixed materials that we use mm. there even from uh so wood plastic resin glass metal um resin we do some amazing character kids tables um sort of bedside tables that are um either spacemen and things like that oh, wow so, so there's a huge variety there the standards and the regulations the legal compliance is very different. Okay. Um, so that's a specialist area. And if you were to split home in half from a sales perspective, it's pretty much furniture one side and the rest of oh, home okay. on the other. Great. Um, the, the volumes might be, uh, so the number of units that we sell on furniture, they're much higher price. So the number of products we sell are lower mm. compared to home. And when I talk about home and beauty, it is... Kitchen, bathroom, bedroom, wow. textiles, uh, metal, glass, ceramics, um, accessories, wall art, live um, oh, cut flowers, oh. uh, live flowers. We do Christmas, seasonal, um, <laughs> uh, 
uh, Christmas <laughs> trees, lighting, uh, and electrical, uh, kettles, toasters, microwaves. Um, yeah, it's huge. So the split is really, if you're in the furniture realm, I guess you get quite technical because of all the different um, materials you're using. Yeah. You still have to do that on home, but you're, across you're, a much, the variety is massive. A much broader range yeah. of products, yes, from curtains, bedding. God. So how do you, <laughs> how does your brain deal with all of that? How, or, or is that where experience... So that's where, and that's the nice thing about yeah. Next. And, and, you know, when you look at Next Campus and how many people actually work here a lot um you know yeah it's how was it three three thousand plus i think i think it, um, i think we're around three and a half three and a half yeah yeah so that's a Just lot of people on the end of campus yeah, yeah. exactly <laughs> and you look at campus it's so big yeah and anybody new coming in they're actually quite nervous mm. um about coming but when you actually come into next as you've already mentioned the product team that you work with so as a technologist you probably work with 10 people right and your you know your bank of desks and the people that you work with closely that's your team that's that's where you are every day yeah so there might be three and a half thousand people at head office <laughs> uh, 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 um, on the campus but actually your world is 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 focused so we have a kitchen team yeah and that's big you know it's very I guess big it, I guess because, because of the variety lot of stuff. you know that yeah. again there that one team tablecloths tea towels you know the textiles side of the business mugs, um, mugs Glassware, ceramics, metal storage containers, resin, silicon, such a huge variety of things. Um, and we have two technologists that work on that area wow. who, who are specialists in certain areas, but because of their experience and knowledge and length of service um, within Next, but also experience outside of Next, they can almost turn their hands to anything. Uh, because the principles remain the same. We know what the testing standards are and the legal requirements. We set our performance standards um, and work to those. The rest of the time is spent with working with the suppliers to ensure mm. production is going to be successful, making sure that our packaging is correct so the product actually survives delivery um, to us and to the customer. Um, yeah, it's big. Yeah. So even taking something, say, like this mug, I guess, like, applying what you said, where you're working on past, present, and future, so would you be looking back at that, saying, right, what was, right, from a technological point of view? So historically, we'd yeah. be looking at... Uh, we. Product technologists also have to almost be data analysts. <laughs> right. It's, it's just, very, just add it is, something else. It's very yeah. much like yeah. the matrix with, you know, with the, the numbers dropping <laughs> um, in front of your eyes. How do you pull out the right piece of information right, to find okay. something, uh, uh, I suppose, uh, uh, a way of describing this as well is we're always either trying to stop a problem okay. or solve a problem. Okay. So when we're developing a product, um, it is planning and risk managing the risk of what could go wrong and once we're selling the product if we have an issue we're trying to find that issue so that we don't keep selling it to customers right. and disappointing them and costing us money yeah yeah 100%, 100%. so we spend um that's that's they're pretty much the two halves of what we do mm. um in so many different ways but yeah the matrix thing we have some great reporting mm. um that shows us all of the information about how the product is not only selling but returning mm. and then when we're processing processing that through our returns warehouses how much of that is faulty okay what the reasons are and then we're working constantly on that making sure that if we can't improve it for now we'll improve it for the future and i guess and i guess as well it's not like the fault not that there's loads of faults but if there was one there could be a number of things as well absolutely it's not just oh it's misshapen or whatever it could be. No, it could be. It could be. Um, again, an interesting, boring fact is that um, returns are key. Uh, it, the more we move a product, the greater risk we have of it becoming faulty. So okay. um, it can be anything from a manufacturing fault, um, and it, the product was delivered to us faulty. We have a whole process for trying to ensure that doesn't happen. Yeah, but it does sometimes. Yeah, and. The other side of it is if we put the image on the website and it's the wrong color or the oh. wrong shade or the dimensions in the text aren't correct. Wow. Then that, because it won't fit in the customer's room, it won't fit 
where the customer had, had identified it to go, or it's much smaller than they expected. So you're actually dealing with that level of detail that as well, can, like absolutely. Literally. Our our job is to investigate all options wow. of, of of where that could, why that product is returning, and how we can mitigate that and resolve the issues so that it, it helps the customer. We have. Um, a number of different sources of, of information that feed in. Obviously, we're processing all of those returns at our warehouse and and, and processing the faulty, so we see those numbers. Mm. But we also have FIFO, which is customer reviews. Yeah, on, on, the, on the website, Absolutely, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So we're always looking at the customer reviews um, because that's the fastest piece of feedback that we can get um, for us to be able to... Uh, because the product hasn't necessarily come back to us yet, and it hasn't necessarily come back in a great volume compared right. to sales. So FIFO customer feedback is is vital to us because we'll see a trend of some of the feedback coming through, and we'll react to it quickly. Because we the, ultimately, it's all about the customer. Yeah, 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 one hundred percent. One hundred. There is no point in us sending out a product that doesn't meet our standards or the customer's mm. expectations. And that I think I think regardless of who the customer is at Next for whoever works at Next, because we have so many industries, you know, Absolutely. your 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 particular area in product, especially on home, your customer is the next customer. Mm. Whereas someone like myself, I have a customer that like, might be like yourself, or might be a candidate coming into the business. But regardless, yeah. we always always don't we think of that customer like that's it's a it's a big yeah. thing here, like yeah, yeah to think yeah. always think of that customer. Yeah. So, so how how did you get into this then originally? Because like, because okay. <laughs> it's like a, it's one of those roles that until you start hearing about it, you kind of go, yeah. Oh, I didn't really think I can't. You kind of assume when Who they're knew? buying it or merchandising it or mm. you know designing it even they'll yeah. go, oh yeah, let's look at the let's look at the makeup of this cushion or this mug. But mm. then you go no, then you realise why there's people doing this. Yeah. But where did you start with all of this then? So I started uh, my first my first job in this arena was at Mattel Toys. Oh, oh no um, way! Yeah, um, <laughs> based in Leicester as well. Wow. I've been very fortunate actually. I've worked pretty much within a mile of Next for the last <laughs> thirty years. Uh, no, thirty two years. Wow. Um, the so Mattel Toys. Um, Barbie Fisher Price. No uh, way. Uh, <laughs> li uh, little Tykes. Um, Hot Wheels, you know, wow. all of those huge Ooh. brands. So it was a great job that I, where I, when I started there, um, and I was QC, I was quality control in the warehouse, nice. inspecting stock, brushing Barbie's hair um, <laughs> so many times and weighing it to see what the average hair loss was because you don't want hair coming out into children's <laughs> mouths and, and fun things like that. So, um, oh, yeah, so that's where I started. I was there for six years. Then I moved to um, Intertech who are, so Mattel, one of the world's largest toy companies. Um, on bat, and It's always a, a race between them and Hasbro as to yes. who's the biggest in the world. Um, then I moved to Intertech, uh, Test Laboratory, who are pro arguably one of the two biggest test laboratories in the world, um, specializing in toys and hard accessories. So it was very much a, a general uh, thing. I was um, product development manager there, but it was very much a technical sales role. So yeah. I, I would work with Toys R Us oh, um, okay. and help them with their testing programs um, and how they could uh, use our services. And um, that is literally just around the corner from here. Um, <laughs> and then I moved to uh, I moved to Next um, twenty one years ago. Twenty one years, a shocker. Yeah, um, I bet so does it feel like it? No, no, no. Blink of an eye. Really? Yeah, absolutely. All of a sudden, I'm here. And I've actually worked on uh, a number of different areas. I started on menswear, uh, moved to home, uh, and moved back from home to... Uh, where did I go from home? Oh, yes, I went to women's wear non-clothing, um, and then back to home. So I've been home twice, two other areas as well. Yeah. So, and each one of those was, was probably four years until wow. I came back the last time. And each time you moved, did you almost have... Was it almost like starting a new job, yeah. like completely? Yeah. yeah, yeah, like yeah. It's that's one of the that's one of the it's one of the exciting things about next. You can move around, yeah. and do move around, uh, and people do move around, and it is it is like starting again. Uh, we all use the same systems, and the process is is very similar. You know, if you're a great product technologist, you should be able to tech anything because mm. uh, the principles are the same. 
um, our primary focus is is the same thing. Yeah. Um, and if you have that adaptability and the ability to learn new areas, then it's it's not not too difficult to move around and, and pick new things up. Um, so. Yes, what's interesting, as I say, is we have the same systems. Mm. We all use the same systems, but we all use them in a slightly different way because each director operates and runs their mm. areas in the right way for that product type. And what, what, what do you think, other than having that variety and that ability to move to different parts of the business and almost keep things fresh, what, what, what's kept you here for 21 years? Because that's a long time, you know. There's going to be some people literally just starting. Yeah, the career yeah. at that age, never mind yeah. actually being at a business that long. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, no, what's, not, what's, not to make it sound like you've been No, here no, 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 no. Well, I have. No, no, no. Um, and, and I think what's, what's kept me here is there's never a dull moment. Nice. There is always, always something happening. Mm. Um, uh, we've not even talked about travel. Um, you know, uh, as technologists, we're in the factories. We go to the factories. Okay. We don't just sit at our desks here in the UK. Okay. Um, on email and video calls, we are in the factories. Um, How regular is that? Three, four times a year. We'll Ooh, be in nice. China, India, Vietnam. Um, and what are you doing? Europe. Working with the suppliers to, to, to actually look to at it? To support them. And, and we actually had a meeting yesterday and we were talking about the difference that we... the difference in the expertise that we have at Next is that we work with so many suppliers, we can pull be best practice from Got each you. of those factories. And almost everywhere that we go, we're seen as an opportunity for the, for the factory to improve. And we work very oh. closely with factories to improve them overall in their processes because we've got such a wealth of experience in manufacturing um, and manufacturing technology. Um, and efficiency. So um, when we travel, that's what we talk about with the with the suppliers as, as well as the specific yeah. product, product development and what we can do there. But um, and we do improve factories. We improve factories that actually benefits our competitors uh, oh. because our competitors might be working with the same factory. Yeah, it's going to happen. And any improvement we give to that factory, actually, it benefits everybody. But we're only really worried about yeah. what it does for us, and we don't worry about that. So. <laughs> No, no. The priority is to do the right thing. That's good. That that's good that you get that. And do you, is that something you enjoy? A part of the role, like the fact that you get to travel. Uh, yeah, and, yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. It's uh, it's a great part. I don't travel as much as I used to. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the team do, yeah. and um, it's it's great for them to be able to go out and actually see how things are happening. Mm. Um, there are a lot of techs that we're all, when we're interviewing because we talked about you know recruitment and yeah. and things like that. It is very exciting when we recruit. We're looking for people that are curious that's a technologist okay. if you're curious if you've got that if you've got that interest and desire to know everything about what's happening and how it works then you will ask the questions you'll keep mm. keep diving in um, so a new trainee technologist um, will already have an idea of what's happening or or, or um, maybe a design background mm. uh, or a bit of an innovative background where they've created some some new products or some ideas that they're already uh, working on we recruited a couple of our, our team were out of design college oh um, okay and they had a technical background of technical drawing and had invented a couple of products themselves and were oh, wow. trying to see where that was going to go and actually they've become great great two technologists at next so, wow yeah so Pete yeah so people could really it's not you've just got to be a Technologist, no, really? No, we uh, we can train anybody. Yeah, to be a great technologist at Next. That's the nice thing. The team, um, my team is fourteen people, but the overall technology team, when we have a video call within home and uh, label home and, and brands, um, we've got over fifty-eight people on the call. So wow. the experience, the diversity of experience in product um, and working in different retailers, different supply. Um, companies and factories means that we can actually almost train anybody to do anything. So we're looking for that curiosity, mm. um, and sometimes we have to rein that in um, because <laughs> sometimes curiosity is literally about everything. Right. Um, okay. And and we have to focus um, on the job in hand. Mm. Um, but once if you've got that and the personality to fit into the team mm. and that work ethic, then actually. 
we can train anybody to be great at what they do. So I guess it's better to have more curiosity and you to Absolutely. go, oh, just just Absolutely. just rein that in a little bit. It's yeah, something you know. that it's something that it's a phrase that's used all the time right. by product directors, managers. We would rather people go all in. Yes. And we pull them back yes. rather than hold too far back and we're not actually making the, the impact mm. and, and, and making the difference. Um, we were talking earlier on about faulty returns. Yep. Um, if it, I would rather somebody place a product on hold and stop selling it than keep it selling because they think, oh, we, we shouldn't do anything. Right. I'd rather them hold it or come and talk to me about it and say, no, it's okay. That one, that one we can solve it mm. this way um, rather than... Um, put everything on hold and, uh, and cause problems. Um, but yeah, it's uh, that curiosity is key and going full in, all in. Yeah, it's interesting, say. isn't it? Because a lot of people that have come on here as well have combined an element, but then it's always underpinned by going in or going for it or, or taking it on. Absolutely, or, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's that element, isn't yeah. it? It's That's kind of like, we absolutely need that. And then depending on your role... It's like, oh, we just want someone that's curious or yeah. willing or open-minded or, or whatever it might be. And it's almost like coming, yeah. co come to next and the knowledge is there, especially in your area when yeah. you're saying there's 58 people there. Mm. You, you're going to learn. Yeah. You're going to learn a yeah. lot of stuff. Yeah. So it's going to be really, really, really yeah. valuable. Um, yeah, absolutely. And, and I think it, it's... As you say, the diversity, the the experience, the curiosity, without any of that, we wouldn't be where we are today. We look for the best people. And the best mm. people are people, not with the, all of the experience, because as I say, we can grow people, we can develop yeah. people. We are also always looking at how we can develop the person. Yeah, 100%. Not necessarily about their job role but develop no. the person if we can if we can uh i'm heavily involved in in your voice yep. um, yeah um for next as yeah, well yeah, yeah, which yeah. is actually uh, a great role and 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 uh passing on business improvement ideas actually having an impact to make life better for people at next which is which is brilliant and efficiencies and, and making things happen um but the the personal development side of, of, of people as well um, we've talked about personal development programs for a long time mm. um, and when you ask somebody to write a personal development plan uh, everybody goes I, I don't know what you're talking about <laughs> um, what is that well yes you know short term medium long term yeah. goals google it um, okay what do I put on a piece of paper um, and we've done I've done a lot of work in that area recently trying to really dig into why do people struggle with that and actually, it's because they don't know themselves. Right, okay. And until you know yourself and you actually open your mind up to, okay, this is what I'm like and this is how I operate mm. and recognize your own needs and growth opportunities, then mm. how can you then write a PDP? So it, personal development plans used to start with, right, here's a piece of paper, write it down. Uh, now that's the that's after about eight weeks of sitting down and talking. That's the output. Isn't that's it? the output, not mm. not not the beginning. So that's been that's been great because that's been a huge um, opportunity for me as well to to grow and develop. And that's interesting actually, and it's good you're still getting that after all this time. Absolutely, you know, like you know, yeah, it's always change. Yeah, it's we always know, change. There's always something new. Um, we've for home because the files the the we have product information packs for every item that we that we develop um, because we might if there is a serious issue um, then we might need that to talk to trading standards about and show them in one one document this is everything that we've done to make sure that product is mm. safe legal and, and, and fit for purpose um, the um, so we have those but those files were so big in China they'd click on the document in the morning to start working on it in the afternoon because the download time was, oh was just God. so big. There were so oh many images God. in there. There were oh so, so, so many files, yeah. um, test, testing uh, certificate attached and, uh, and things like that. So they were so big. So we've actually written our own website 
Oh wow! Um, uh, we call it HIP, the Home Information Portal, which is a it's a it's a it's a product. If, if we roll it out across the business, children's wear would be chip. But anyway, uh, we won't we won't go there. Um, the um, uh, and it's a product lifecycle management tool. So online now we have uh, from design brief concept all the way through to our final approval samples um, or on the website which has organized everything for the buyers merchandisers technologies oh, wow. um, and designers from from day one and merchandisers merchandisers yeah so yeah so it's um so it, nothing to and that's where we have crossed the border into technology <laughs> um, uh, but, not uh, opposed to but, it but we are not technologists so no. In that sense. So, yeah. So, so there is always an opportunity at Next to do something different. Mm. Um, and uh, Claire Solis, our director, when, when she started, one of the phrases that, that she used was always do the right thing even when no one's looking. Yeah. Um, yeah, I love that. And that is a brilliant, brilliant mm. phrase. Um, and it does apply to everything in life as well as in, as well as in work. Um, and that could mean making the right decision it could mean stopping a product from being sold it could mean that we are going to reinvent the process mm. uh, and change something there that will that will actually do the right thing for next long term and what what are the you what are you most looking forward to for the next however many years who knows <laughs> oh, and, and that's that, it is that it and is that that's exciting it. who knows yeah um, because it, everything is changing all the time we're doing mm. so many different things the nice thing about home is we can it, we're not and i don't want to um put clothing down in any way no, shape or no, form no. but we're not limited to the body no it is anything and everything um, so the new home. things pop we've up we've tried all the time. oh we've tried yeah. fitted carpets we talked earlier on years <laughs> ago we did fitted kitchens yeah. um there's always something new there's always a different opportunity a new product type a new mm. finish a new a new process um that's that's being invented and created or we are um new design concepts all sorts of things and again the nice thing about product technology is our job is to make it happen yeah so it's one thing to design it which i have ultimate admir admiration for <laughs> not design how do you redesign <laughs> so, you know we've got these wonderful glasses here but how do you redesign a glass every six weeks for a new a new range that's going to drop you know it's uh, that's a huge challenge but our job is to make it happen right our job is to make it legal safe yeah meet next expectations and our customers expectations so not quite quite important then tim <laughs> yeah it, it is it is yeah, yeah. it is huge yeah it is huge um so who knows what's coming mm. and if you had one one bit of advice for anyone that was like you know didn't really think, oh, didn't think about joining next, or actually didn't really know what product technology was, but thinking, oh, yeah, I might look into that. Yeah. What would you give? Apply. Apply. <laughs> Apply for the job. <laughs> Apply um, for the job. If you are, if, if we've, we've got, we have successful product technologists that were builders. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Lit, actual, like, they are practical pro people, hands on yeah. people that have come through next and have developed and grown into being fantastic product technologists. Wow. So if you have that logical mind, if you have that creative mind, mm. um, if you have uh, any experience in product or legislation, whether that's legal legislation or environmental, we've not even touched on that, yeah. um, and the expectations there, um, then why not yeah you know why not next is a phenomenal place to be 20 21 years this year at next and it's paid for my life you know uh, it's uh, it's the it is a great place to be it's hard work we have phenomenal expectations um, we consider ourselves certainly the, the the technology team in home we consider to be the best in the UK we've waited sometimes for over a year to find the right person for a role um, purely because we won't compromise on our standards. But once you're in, um, then that's when the work starts. Yeah. But um, we are more than happy to to help support, mould, and, and bring those people on board and give them the life that I've had, which is fabulous. At Next. 
think that's a great place to end. So thank you very much for coming on. No, thank you. And uh, it's, been, it's been really good to get that detail of, you know, product technology, because again, it is such a big and important area that sometimes I think within product, people don't always, you know, assume that it's there, but it massively is. So yeah, thanks for absolutely. sharing that insight. No problem. Thank you. It's been good.